Hello, the internet saffron here. Okay, back into the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And we just finished in the lounge car with Amy and Shadow. And uh, so now we're going to move on to the conductor. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Huh. Spilled coffee? What's that? In a trash bin. Should really short, short, out, my, short, short, short out my evidence before I continue. Okay. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> Yeah, we have the spilled mug, we have whatever this is, a robot arm that's busted. Oh, trash bin! You know, I'm alright, I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Aw, come on! Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he took after 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. <laughs> this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye sir. Broken robot arm. Okay, and then spilled coffee. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say in the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. How very nice. How very sweet. A microphone? We can talk to the whole train with this. Well, they're megaphones technically, but you know, whatever. Hmm, should I say something? Start beatboxing. If you hear this, you're, uh, no, I don't like either of these. <laughs> Saffron, why are you reaching for the button? Why are you reaching? <laughs> don't do that. Please don't do that. Just uh, offer your guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Saffron. Thank you for sharing. No, I, that was terrible. I didn't want it really. Oh, what's this? A vent. Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why would it be a problem for you? Because he can fly. Oh, the... Uh, the tails, right. Ugh. Huh, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Ah! Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to my inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Well, no, I'm not done yet. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. They teach you how to drive it? Oh no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys. Aw, oh, yes. Did I talk to, um... Oh, what's this? I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I wouldn't watch a full mo I would I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said "Happy Birthday, Amy." That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little charring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay. Well, you two think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Saffron? Ready to solve this case? No, not yet. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um, I guess that's everything then. It doesn't look like there's anything else. Well, you two think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Saffron? Ready to solve this case? 
Yeah, I guess so. Hello everyone, this is Birthday Girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Saffron. Why isn't Sonic shown up? Because he's dead. <laughs> Vector? Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I have a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'll be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. So glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometimes? <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah, cause yeah, Sonic's been dead this whole time. <laughs> that, that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Uh huh. He, he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head's propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. Yeah, all of you lazy bums did. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Saffron, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, nobody? <laughs> I mean, really, who would have been? The only one that even remotely suspicious was when Shadow said he didn't see Espio in the library when he was looking for him. Otherwise, everybody else is pretty much covered, except Amy. We don't know what she was doing this whole time. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I didn't know such a thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio's locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence comes to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Saffron, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings quest into question Espio's alibi? The Hidden Passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, a hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true you didn't miss a question, but I think Saffron and I can explain that too. Saffron? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? And did you like him speed reads? Sure, either one works. Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It's plausible. Espio is particularly spilled. Skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once sped read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. 
Saffron might not have not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Saffron, who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? That wasn't exactly who I had a man. Maybe it could give me a hint. They told us they could see something later. Now that's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Uh. Now I'm confused. That wasn't exactly what I meant. Oh, Amy? I have no idea. Now I'm confuzzled. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Oh, that's right. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout from our treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Yay. Add it to my inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Saffron, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio saw that Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Uh, the library car? It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first and found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With within Ta Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Saffron and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Saffron and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? I'll blow dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're so close. Yay, think. <sighs> oh, come on. I hit the space bar that time. I got robbed. Well... That's a damn- Oh man, I didn't get anywhere near close. Way off. This is gonna take a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. I guess that explains why there's throwing stars in these mini stages. Oh, I got cheated on that. I think I got robbed on that last fight, but that's fine. We have enough coins. Sticks nice. <laughs> anyway. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. What? I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just have been knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take in the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Saffron I know it, and I know another way it could have been done. We do? We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Um... This, I suppose. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Saffron, think! Think! Ka think! Bounce? Oh shit. There we go, easy peasy. It's like chasing down chaos emeralds, except it's light bulbs, light bulb. All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? there? There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. There is? Oh, I didn't even see that area. Is that the same sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there? The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back there. And a track. A track? Huh? 
track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Um, Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. That feels right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through the vent? Uh, arms? Shoot, now that I think about my argument. You can do this, Saffron. You can do this. I can do it. We can do it. Okay, think again. Whoops. I got brain dead there. I, I got totally brain dead there. All right, try again. Oh, well, lovely. Try again. Ah, crumb. Ah, too high up there. Oh, I'm doing so bad. Oh, Jesus. I'm not getting any rings here. We totally failed that one. That was terrible. There we go. Sheesh. <laughs> Everyone saw the broken robot arm in the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continue through the vents. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit there are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SPO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency. Someone here received fault inspiration, and I believe that information came from SPO. Who, re who received that information? Amy? Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right. SPO lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Uh, it... No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame him, Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? <gasps> and now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? Well, if it's a murder mystery, I mean, he's kind of supposed to. <laughs> I mean, don't get mad at him. I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. It was you, Espio! You are the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Ugh. Hi, Sonic. Nice to have you with us. Uh, hey, guys. Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, it was just as we solved the mystery. Espio was the murderer, right? Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though, really? It's not lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Of course it is. <laughs> Because the conductor was Eggman. I said that right from the beginning, that he had the big stupid gloves. All right, anyway. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, no, no. We need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. 
He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train, but what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. <gasps> no! A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right, as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my soldier. It was a shoulder. Ugh. It was a blow dart from Espio. <gasps> Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arms, sliced it, off, sliced it off the rail, and it was on. Wow. I'm amazed he was able to pull any of that off, poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Yeah, everybody. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, thanks, Espio. We got that. Yeah, we already knew that. Situation's gotten so serious. Why wouldn't you why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic Station, the conductor car. Slates will not need a sleeping agent. Thank you for choosing the Mirage Express staff. See? What is that? It says use this blow dart. Yes, we read that. Thank you. <laughs> what is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons should be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Saffron, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Uh, the train. The conductor. According to Sonic, conductor was attacked by the robot arms. I doubt he attacked himself on purpose. And while it could have been an accident, I have a different theory. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. Yeah, okay, fine. First we learned the train's a bad neck, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has, has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Uh-oh. Come out and show yourself! Well, I mean, they're on the train, but... A Amy? It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with me! Amy's hitting the wall with a hammer. I'm with you, Amy! This train can have it! Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. <gasps> what was that? Oh dear, look at the angry face. <laughs> Such an angry face. What did you do to you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm -mm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. I was kind of thinking the train had an attitude, but <laughs> whatever, I guess. <gasps> Is the train talking? Of course I can talk, you you fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? Taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you'll rot. Eggman, after I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying! The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you... Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Oh, Sonic! Ah ha ha ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Okay, no, no! I can't keep my footing. Uh, okay. Oh no! A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Oh no! My head. Tails? Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. 
Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hang it in there. It seems the train Zarnster was back in the dining, dining car. Where's everyone else? Great question. But for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? Uh, I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Ah, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Wow. Are we, like, gonna go through, like, a whole other thing yet? <laughs> that yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Aha, Eggman. Hello, hello. Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho oh, ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger lines. Uh... You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Uh, ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need to be short out, would sorted out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess. Another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres. It's science. Sure. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I am only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure that things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. The train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms that the train really is sentient. Suffice it to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to, to deliver all of you to me. Oh no! See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture your pathetic creatures, get a generous reward. I mean, I guess I don't know what badniks would want, but okay. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward, right? Exactly. Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train, it may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever cross me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Ah, ciao. It always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman? This whole time we were all in danger, and why I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Uh, I didn't try hard enough. I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I couldn't keep- I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey! I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry. I- I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Haha, <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay? We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Uh, what would you do? Because of course, what would Sonic do? Tails of to ask yourself, what would you Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'll speed through head on, head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get the door open. Ha, <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold in your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Uh, actually, give me a second. I get it. Well, let me know when you're ready, because, yeah, I gotta look at things. We gotta look at things. Aw, oh, man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never get to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train's sights couldn't be beat. I was so excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train's company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. Yeah, that'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. <laughs> One of those robotic arms are here, too. Wow, it swiped at me! Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. 
Gotta get out of here before the arm swipes at us again. Here, can we make these go yellow again? Anything else? We just talk to Sonic. We're gonna go save our friends. Um... We'll see what happens. I guess we'll see how long this is. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm just gonna end it here and we'll save our friends next time. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I will see you all later.